Hey, Salvador Brigman here. Today I want to talk about how you can use Canva in order to make a social media graphic and how anyone out there can do this, my friend. This is all about empowering you. This is about showing you how you can use social media to your advantage to really just get a massive audience of people out there checking out your products and excited for what you're coming out with when it comes to your Kickstarter Indiegogo campaign or an e-commerce launch, doing a Shopify. Whatever you're trying to do, you're trying to get attention. Show, social media is free and one of the greatest ways to do that. So it's gonna show you in today's training video how to do that with Canva. Okay, so let's get started here. So first of all, you're gonna wanna have a Canva account. So you're gonna wanna go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com and start a free account. Um, I'm also gonna include a link down below. You can go through that. If you've been enjoying my videos, man, and you just wanna help out the team a little bit, um, you can always go through that link. We will get a small, very tiny commission if you decide to sign up for a premium version of Canva at no expense to you. Um, so it just kind of helps the show, honestly. So I'm gonna include that link down below. But let's kind of get into this. So first of all, Canva is incredible because there are so many different templates that you can use. And this is basically an online tool. So you can use this when it comes to your business. You can use this when it comes to marketing, education, social media, uh, personal invites, resumes, et cetera, logos. This is a master suite of a tool, my friend. And I'm telling you something, this is something that a lot of people don't want you to know about, right? Because you can do this yourself, which is so cool. So what I wanna share with you is like exactly how to do a social media post. So we're gonna do just for example, like a Facebook post and you can go and spend your own time looking at some of this different stuff like Instagram stories, Instagram posts, um, cards, websites, logos, business, all this stuff. And this is free. How cool is that, right? And this tool can literally revolutionize uh, your business. And I think that's really exciting. So let's first go here, let's create a Facebook post. Now, the thing you should understand is that every single social media platform out there, whether that's Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, has its own specifications. And by that, I mean the size of those posts and also the style of the posts that go on those different social media platforms. So you're not gonna post the same kind of thing when it comes to a Facebook post as you're gonna do with something like on Instagram or Instagram story or these types of things. Does that make sense? Now you might not use social media yourself, my friend. I don't use social media that much very often either. I use it for my personal Instagram, uh, which is at S Briggy, right? It's my personal Instagram. I just kind of post some fun stuff, honestly. I also post my company Instagram. You can search under like Salvador Briggy in the formal thing, right? But um, when it comes to this, you can go and you can see, first of all, some of the different themes and styles that are available for you on Canva. So if you're not a designer, you can just kind of come here and you can start to browse and look through some of these and see if any of these um, kind of tickle your fancy or if they're kind of in line with what you're trying to do. This is something that's gonna make sense for you and your business. There are so many different categories on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, so many different types of industries and niches and startups that are trying to raise money. So obviously I can't personalize this for you, right? But we're just gonna pick one, for example. Um, let's do this cleaning service. I think that kind of sounds interesting here. So let's do this cleaning service and it's gonna pull up here. So this is the cust this is a template, right? You can also see some more that are here that are available as well and you can scroll here. So you could pick one that is more in line with the type of business that you have or that you wanna start or that the uh, campaign that you're looking to do around. We're just gonna say customize this template, okay? So what it's gonna do is gonna open up a whole new tab here. It's gonna then come up here and you're gonna be able to see how you can very easily have a drag and drop interface so that you can literally just get this thing up and running in a matter of minutes if you want to. Now, when it comes to social media, I think a lot of people are very hesitant about doing any kind of social media posting because they don't want to do it wrong, right? Or they feel like their design skills are not super great. So when it comes to this, my internet's moving super slow. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is going to kind of populate here, and then we're going to be able to see some of the things on the left-hand side of the screen, which I'm going to get into in just a second, as well as you can actually see this particular template. So first of all, let's look at this template, okay? So we have here on the upper left this animate button, right? So we're going to get into that in a little bit. We also have these different little elements. So again, like I said, drag and drop. So let's just say we want to change this from cleaning service, and we want to change that to another type of service, so like spa service, right? You can very easily just customize the text and it's gonna change it for you. 
In addition, we could take these and we could edit this image. We could change out these images to be more relevant to our business and brand. So just because you see this cleaning service here doesn't mean it has to be for your business. I'm talking about just the style and the look and the feel of this. If you want to we could even get into here and changing different colors, right? Or maybe have a, a bit of an off color there, right? I kind of like the the, yellow, the way that it contrasts with the blue and the, the yellow there, obviously. In addition, we got this other bluer um, kind of a, a graphic here, and you have the background. So these are all, basically, I'm just trying to say that these are customizable, and you can change them. If you didn't like this, you can delete that, right? really easy to do and if you one of the things that i recommend actually is that you duplicate the initial version so that if you make any changes you can just go back always to the original version if you want to restore that okay and there are also other things here with notes if you want if you're a little bit on the uh the older side there and i'm honestly i'm getting up more and i need to use my glasses more you might want to uh increase the size right so it's, it's a little bit easier for you to see this thing if you're doing it on your own Okay, so on the, the left here, animate, this is more usually for if you're doing like animation style text or see how that kind of pops in there the way that I just showed that or pans in here. Look how professional that looks, man. And we're just showing you that in a couple of seconds. And again, this looks amazing. Uh, I do have the premium Canva accounts uh, because obviously I run a marketing company and that's something that we do for people. We try to make it look really spicy and sizzly here for you. So... Um, if you want to uh, do that, you can obviously animate this text and you can have it all look very cool and you could download that or you can publish it directly to Facebook. Okay, more things. Let's get a little bit into elements. All right, so elements are basically the things that you can use in order to make a design pop more. Okay, so that could be something like graphics. It could be lines, shapes, um, icons, flowers. It could be videos as well. So this could be really interesting. We're just going to go down here. You know, we could obviously do something like a really cool, interesting video if we were doing more of a video-based ad. And look, it's already playing there in the background. How cool does that look? I mean, that thing just, I just get my attention, man. I'm obviously very easy to get my attention, right? I have, I have a little bit of ADD maybe or something. But um, you could also obviously have audio if you wanted to and incorporate that into your social media posts. So video, photos, graphics right here. So for example, if you were doing like a plumbing company, let's just say you're doing a welding company and you want to have an icon there or something that kind of represented that, you could very easily just drag and drop. You could change all the little colors here. Look at that. You can change the red, the blue, the yellow. You can change all those colors to be in line with your design format. Now, I think the other thing that's really powerful is being able to see some of these photos, right? Because you can have all of these photos at your fingertips. And obviously, this is under the premium plan. There are some photos as well under the free plan, I believe. Um, but I have access to like all of these just because I have the premium, obviously. So if I wanted to, for example, have a photo like this, something kind of interesting, uh, maybe about reading or maybe about a new book that's coming out, I could have this photo and I could put this in the background here. I'm not going to go through all this because it's going to really slow up my browser, right? Or I could even just insert it there, right? And they're just quickly inserted into this little photo here. And maybe this is more about a new book that I have coming out versus something related to cleaning, okay? So you, you can go through these photos and you can pick one that you want. What I would recommend, my friend, is not going through all those photos because I know that your time is valuable. Instead, I would just search for it. So let's just say that we wanted to do something along tech, right? Technology. We could just Google tech and let's just say that we came out with some kind of a new device um, that's going to prevent ransomware attacks or going to you know, prevent something. We could go in here and we can look at some of these different tools and we can maybe customize the background and have that one be one of the backgrounds. Or we wanted something a little bit different here. We wanted to have a guy here with his watch doing a little bit of coding, right? So we could either just drag and drop this into one of these little bubbles like I just did, or we could have a drag and drop and we could be in the background, right? So you get a lot of different uh, graphics there. Now, the other thing I want to point your eye to is on the left-hand side, there's this thing that says text, right? So you could, if you wanted to, you could do some really interesting, fun text combinations like uh, sale, huge discount, right? Planet Arcadia, uh, wild sale. I like that one, wild sale, right? You could easily do that, and you could um, drag and drop these onto here, or you could just click it. And it's going to appear in a second here when I drag this on here. There we go. I think I did it a few times accidentally. 
So, and this might be better on like a white, a white background, honestly. So I'm just gonna add a new page here. So it's blue by default. I'm gonna copy this, paste. There we go. So you see how easy it is. We're just getting started here. You know, you're just very um, entry into the video and you're already making some cool stuff. Let's just say we want to change the color here. All right, let's change this to white. Okay, we want it to do a little bit more gray. That looks horrible. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Um, but you know, we can obviously get the sense of what it's going to look like there. Other things, there are logos. So if we wanted to upload our own logo so we can easily brand any kind of social media image, you could do that as well here in Canva. Now, before we uh, kind of talk about, you know, more things when it comes to like integrations, which I think is important. Um, and you can obviously look more, it takes more time, look at backgrounds. Like if you want to look at it, let's, let's look at it really quickly, just a really interesting um, pattern of some kind. Maybe we can do like a beach because they've got that beach thing here. So there we go. Beach, please. <laughs> I don't know if that works super well, but uh, I do like the, the beach in the background there. Or we could even change it and have it be more of this gravelly, abstract kind of one, right? So you can choose the backgrounds. When you click more here, you can also get other options. So charts. So if we wanted to have a chart, let's have something a little bit more official looking, like a little bit more serious. And we're trying to make really interesting graphs and stuff like that. And I would use this, honestly, for more of an equity crowdfunding campaign or something that's a little bit more serious for investors versus consumers. Um, we then could go there and we could easily edit this, uh, this chart. So I'm, I'm actually working right now on my, on my MacBook air. So it's like really slow right now, but, um, you get, you get the sense here. We could just change around this data. We could change around the colors. So, you know, it's really easy to do here. Um, if we want to have something a little bit different, we could have like a line chart here as well. Right. And you're going to see all of this and it all just immediately comes onto the screen and you can just edit this on the lower left, on the, up, on the left hand corner there. And you're going to have a really great looking chart. Okay. Um, so just some other ones like videos I already went over that audio, some styles here. These are other integrations. So like if you wanted to do more fancy stuff, I'd say this is more advanced level marketing, like gifts, emojis, um, that kind of stuff, integrate your own files via Dropbox. You can do that all with Canva. So this is a very powerful tool is kind of what I'm trying to get at as well as you can pick certain styles. So if you don't wanna like come up with the hard graphics work yourself and figure out how to pair different colors together or pair different fonts, why not just pick a style, man? I mean, it's gonna make it so much easier. And that way, any kind of things that you make, it's gonna be in that line of a style. So you see, I just clicked that style and it immediately populated it. And um, if you wanted to, you could shuffle as well through some of the different color combinations like that, like I'm doing right here. That's like a blue. I really like this. This is this is really cool to me. Um, if you want a kind of a different style, I would say this is more of a feminine kind of a look. But it, it you know it kind of obviously varies depending on your views there. Um, glacial indifference. I also think that's a little bit more of a high class kind of a feel. If I wanted something that's a little bit more bold, right? So maybe it's kind of standing out more bold here. I like that text as a a bold text. Might want to change the color. Um, so that that to me is like strong bold kind of a um, a look and I'll, I'll just go through one more and then we'll talk about some other things that are really important. I think with Canva. Um, so let's pick out this one. So this actually, I really love cursive. Like I'm, I'm a big a nerd when it comes to stationary and cursive and like, I'm a writer, obviously I've written, you know, 11 books now. So I'm big into cursive. So you could obviously pick and shuffle through this and pick ones that are kind of interesting to you. And you can apply this to all the pages or it could just be for that one. Okay, so last thing I want to go through here that I think is going to be relevant to you before I talk about a way to kind of simplify all of this process. If you decide that, you know what, trying out this one theme, and I don't really like it, it's just not so great, right? Um, you could kind of go here and you could look at some of the other styles of themes. So let's just say you want to have more of like a, uh, a post with social media and like have a, an icon of a mobile phone and like they can click learn more and they can get directed to some kind of a URL there. That could be very easy for you to do. So you can always go back here and you can select some of the different templates that are available in general here. Or if you want to do a quote, right, you could just click quote and then you can customize that or you could customize the background or the colors or the fonts. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillright is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. 
Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfill Right today. Link in the description. So when it comes to this, there's a lot of different variables here, right? So you think about this, um, this image right here. It's made up of different colors. It's made up of different textures. It's made up of the background, the foreground, the fonts, the icons, the way that it all works together, the shapes, like the circle here. Um, so there, there are a lot of ways in which you can obviously edit this. You can change the transparency. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult to know what to do, right? So one of the things that I would recommend um, is, number one, you got to decide you're doing this, obviously, this business. Is this something that you want to become an expert in? If it is something that you want to become an expert in, you want to become an expert in marketing and specifically social media marketing. You want to learn the, the trade. You want to learn the tools that go into this craft and also how to actually do this. You definitely want to join my mastermind community because I share literally every single week new teachings and lessons on exactly how to do this with very inexpensive tools just like Canva. So my mastermind, you can go to the link crowdcrux.com slash mastermind, uh, which will take you there and you can sign up there and you can try it out and see if you like it or not. Really, honestly, I think it's one of those things that if you're going into an upcoming campaign, it is a no brainer decision if you want to do it yourself. Um, so that's crowdcrux.com slash mastermind. With that, you get my one-on-one -on -one coaching. You also get access to all of my freebies, my downloads, my worksheets. You get access to the community itself. And in addition to my weekly live streams going through these techniques where you can ask me questions at the end of my class, or if you want to um, at certain points in different times when it comes to just messaging me there in the mastermind. So it's up to you, but that is a great option for you if you want to learn this craft. If you don't want to learn this, if you're like, you know what, man, <laughs> it sounds great. Like, I love that you're doing this, but I don't want to do this myself. I don't have the time to do this. I don't want to figure this all out. I don't want to become an expert designer or and I don't want to learn the social media, uh, how to actually get people excited and how to build out a social media profile from scratch. Like that just sounds like a lot of work. Um, maybe you're more of a business owner, right? So. A business owner or an innovator or a creator, um, someone who is really good at prototyping or they have a skill set when it comes to design or they have a skill set when it comes to um, actually just coming up with the idea, they're an innovator, they're an entrepreneur, a business owner. The hallmark of your success is capped at your ability to assemble a team. Write that down. The, the like limit of your success is capped at your ability to assemble a team. So what do I mean by that? I mean, let's just say we have like a chart here, right? Let me go and open up a new little, a new little page. You got a chart here, right? And on this chart, it's going up and up. It's going to be capped right here. You can't go any higher. You can't go any higher because it's all based on you and your time. So this can be quite frustrating, particularly if you're uh, more seasoned as a business owner. Let's just say you've been in corporate America, you've had a job before, or you know you just know what you're doing and um, you're trying to do this other project. And you're like, I just want to pull this together, but I just don't have the manpower, the energy, the time. I'm not a young skipper anymore to do this, right? And I don't want to learn all these tools. Um, in that case, it might make more sense to have my team do it for you. Now, this is something that's kind of new that we're experimenting with, but so far it's getting phenomenal results. And a lot of the clients that we're talking with, it's like a breath of fresh air because they no longer have to worry about this. And we can just literally take social media right off of their shoulders and they don't even have to think about it. And they know obviously that with things that we're doing are specifically designed with principles in mind to build a crowd for you online. And also, which is I think one of the coolest parts, also, you can get incorporate the elements of your brand, your vision and your design, because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. So this is something where if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this, I think what I'm going to do is I might include uh, a link and or a phone number down below that you can contact and um, you can learn a little bit more about this. Again, this is for someone who really just wants this area of their business taken care of and doesn't want to have to think super much and just like wants to get these weekly touch base reports and, and really um, be able to interact directly with one contact point that 
you know, is going to be reliable and is not necessarily um, tied to your own workings and to your own stuff when it comes to the business. So like you have a contact point, you know what is actually happening when it comes to operations, things are going out, it's going well. And as well, um, you then become part of the community, which is pretty cool. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'm going to include some information down below. Like I said, it's probably going to be a phone number, though it might also be a link. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I really just want to make this video on the fly because we we've been doing a lot of different social media stuff for clients. And I'm like, dude, we got to get this video out there so people also know how to do it themselves, right? That is so important. That is so part of my values. So if you haven't yet, number one, give a thumbs up on this video. If you did like it, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it. And also, um, please take a second to subscribe to this channel because I always put out new stuff for you guys. I love putting out new stuff, all the things that I find, all the things that I try to help you out with. Um, it means a lot to me. You know, this is for me a labor of love and something that I've always been uh, excited and passionate about. I'm like bread and butter. I just love teaching and I love helping people out. And it's something that just kind of um, warms my heart when I see other people doing well, because it's like, that is awesome, man. That, that just, that's just great. So anyway, my name is Salvador Brigman. Um, hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.